I'm sitting with my dad on the patio outside of his nursing home in the balmy, beautiful summer weather of western Pennsylvania. From the patio, one can see the green, lush, rolling hills where two groundhogs frolic in the distance on the large grassy hill. The top of the rolling hills are covered with a thick, dark patch of forest, and sometimes at dusk, a cautious deer will peek out, eyeing the delectable grass. It is peaceful here. My dad sits in his wheelchair, dozing serenely in the warm, comforting sunlight, occasionally waking to look over at me or check on the progress of the two workers putting down a fresh layer of peat moss in the garden's flower beds. I look over at him frequently, as well as at the other residents who are out enjoying the sun. Quiet dignity and acceptance pervade the patio. I sit contentedly, become aware of my breathing, and the stream of thoughts slows to a trickle. A gentle breeze rustles the trees, plants, and grass in the garden. I look down around the grassy area, around the flower beds, and am drawn to focus on the blades of grass. They somehow call out to me. They undulate gently in the soothing breeze. They don't oppose the breeze, but seem to be one with it. The blades of grass don't complain, fret, plan, scheme, worry, or resist. They are simply and sacredly one with everything around them. Some blades are robust and in their summer prime, while others, in the direct light of the sun, are already showing signs of decay. Irrespective of their state, they remain serene, peaceful, and accepting. They exude a simplicity, dignity, and spiritual quality, whether a fresh young blade, a blade in full bloom, or a blade starting to wither. Their varying stages of life seem to have no effect on the quality of their presence and connectedness. How blessed is a life when even blades of grass can be teachers, reminding us that we too have a connection and oneness with all that is. The blades of grass silently demonstrate that, despite life circumstances, our essence can shine through by being present. My dad rustles in his wheelchair, looks over at me quietly and contentedly, then slowly closes his eyes for more sleep. When the gentle breeze stops for a few seconds, the blades of grass respond accordingly and seem to be instantly suspended in space and outside of time. They are so amazingly sensitive, responding to even the slightest change of the breeze, yet always one with it. As soon as the gentle breeze starts up again, ever so slightly, the cooperative undulating of the blades of grass begins anew. I feel humbled and blessed to be in their presence, peaceful and anchored in the sacred present. <laughs>